All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, this is going to be my cast assessment for MCC 23. And let's hop right in with the Red Rabbits here, where we have Tommy, Callum, Crank, and Shelby. Now, I think, I don't think this team will win. I really don't think so. But I think there is, like, there is a small chance. They're not my winner pick, though. Oh, uh, everyone on this team has played an event before. Crank is kind of new to the event. He he was in the last event, the Pride 2022. I can't really remember how, how well he placed in that one, but <laughs> we'll see. I, I don't know. But, uh... Callum has won an event before, Shelby's won an event before, Tommy's won an event before, and Tommy just won the last main canon event, so I think there's a chance that Tommy leads this team, and same thing with Shelby, and Callum obviously could do really well here as well, it will kind of just, you know, will bring Crank along, um, and I think there's a chance this team could make dodgeball, but I don't, like, there is a small chance. That this team makes dodgeball and possibly wins, but I wouldn't be surprised if they get into like the top half, or it's like a fourth or a fifth or a sixth or a seventh in the like you know, sixth and seventh in the bottom half, somewhere in that range there. So I don't think this team's going to win, but it should be fun nonetheless for them. Next up, we have the orange ocelots, where we have Quig, Martin, Eric, and Finster. Now everyone on this team has won an event before, and Martin has not won a main canon event. However, he has won the Jingle Jam. He won the Jingle Jam quite a while ago now. And I don't necessarily think this team was going to win, but there is a chance that this team makes it to dodgeball. Quig, I think, is going to be the main carrier of the team. Uh, I don't re I can't really remember how well Martin is, but I, like I think he's okay, and I think Finster will probably do the work first out of this team. I got, I won't be surprised if the team uh, gets in the top half. I wouldn't be surprised if it falls in the bottom half either. Next up, we have the Yellow Yaks, where we have Sapnap, George, Elena, and Gumi. <sighs> Why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> like why are we do why do we have teams like this? Like we we're once again having a duo out of the three dream team. Like come on. And I don't know. But this time I don't know if this team's going to win. <laughs> like I'm kind of mad that, you know, Ooh, that uh, we keep seeing these duos with George and Satnap. Uh, I can't remember what the duo was last time, but for MCC Pride, I know Dream's team did end up winning. I think he was team with George. I can't really remember, but you know, <laughs> I can't remember. But you know, it, it, it kind of makes it feel kind of pointless, right? That you know some of the. These players, you know, are very, very good. They are just going to do do really well and carry their team to a win. Now, Elena and Gumi are clearly the worst of the four here, and it kind of it kind of just makes it very clear that they're you're I that they are going to be carried in this event. So I wouldn't be surprised if this team makes it to the top three. I wouldn't be surprised if this team makes it to dodgebolt. But I don't see this team coming in last place necessarily. But I, they're not my winner picks for this event, though. Because I, I think Elena and Gumi might uh, harm their winning chances here. But you never know. You never know. They, they could win. You never know. Oh, uh, like honestly, I'm guessing like a fourth or a fifth for them, for, them uh, for this team here. Next up, we have the Lime Llamas, where you have Illumina, Jimmy, Scar, and Cub Fan. Now, I don't really know how well this team is gonna do. I wouldn't. I don't think it's gonna be in the top half. I don't think this team will win. I think this team will probably fall in the bottom half, kind of around like a sixth, seventh, or an eighth place. I don't really think Scar's the greatest of players here, or, but we'll see. And Jimmy did 
has it wasn't that long ago where Jimmy was placed like at the very bottom of the <laughs> at the very bottom of the player ranking for the season for uh, for an event. I can't remember what event it was though. <laughs> but I uh, I don't think this team will win. And uh, could they make it to Dodgeball? Maybe Illumina will probably be the one trying to carry this team to a win. But I don't see them winning honestly. Next up, we have, we have the green geckos, where we have Dream, Foolish, Tina, and Connor eats pants. I don't think this team's going to win. And even though all these players are from the Dream SMP, however, Foolish, Tina, and Connor or haven't played in that many MCCs. Obviously, Dream is an insane player, or and I think he will place in the top ten individually. He, however. I don't think this team's going to win. I I wouldn't be surprised if this team gets to the top five. I wouldn't be surprised if this gets to dodgeball. They're definitely not my winner picks here. Or uh, what? I know. I think T Tina's team. Tina replaced uh, Ludwig in the last in the Pride event in, in June, and their team literally fell all the way down to the bottom. Even. Even with Sakuno and the other, and the other person, uh, like the uh, there are some high-profile among us players playing in that event. Like it, even like it was clear that team was getting last here. But this event here, I think this team does not really have a shot. Um, I don't really see them doing the greatest here. But like I wouldn't be surprised if this team wins. Honestly. <laughs> Dream, really, <laughs> seriously. We got, but I wouldn't be surprised if this team gets like six, seventh, or an eighth, or maybe a ninth. Really, I don't think this team will fall in the tenth spot, but there is a possibility it does. You never know. Next up, we have the Cyan Coyotes, where we have JoJo, False, Pearl, and Scott. And I think this team, there is a shot here. And I think JoJo and Scott are probably going to be the leaders of this team. And I think this team is probably going to be the fan favorite. I don't. I could see this team getting like a fourth or a fifth type of deal here. That kind of seems reasonable. Could this team win? Maybe. 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 I don't know. <laughs> really though, I don't. They're not my winner pick. So. Um, but like uh, Jojo is obviously a very good player. Scott really good as well. Uh, Pearl and False have also won events, so everyone on this team has won an event before. So it uh, it it could go either way here, right? Or wait, has Pearl won an event? I think Pearls did. I think Pearls won an event. I can't really remember. I don't think Pearls won an event. Has he? Never mind. If Pearl hasn't won an event, let me know in the comments, please. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, Pearl, if you haven't won an event. But, like, I I don't know. I don't see this team winning. But I wouldn't be surprised if this team makes it to Dodgeball. They're, like, the top half of the leaders on the, sta on the team standings. Next up, we have the Aqua Axolotls. We have Puns, Bad Boy Halo, Sylvie, and Snifferish. Now, oh, I think this team is in winter contention. Obviously, Puns and Mad Boy Halo are probably going to be the ones uh, taking this team to a win. Everyone on this team has won an event before. And Sniffer, she kind of goes on and off. She did win her first event, but she got last in the team standings in her second event. And so, I, I don't know. Sylvie has also won an event before. She won the Halloween one with uh, Tubbo, Sapnap, and Scott. And... And I don't know how well this team will go. Well, I think there, like there's a chance that this team wins. I think this team will probably f fall in the worst sixth place, but at best maybe like a third, second, or first. We'll see though. At, be at best for them, I can't remember what I'm saying. We'll see. We'll see. Next up, we have the blue bats, where we have SB, Sneeg, Jordan, or Captain Sparkles, and Kara. Corvus. Now, I'm excited for this team because Captain Sparkles is kind of, I think, he's my favorite player. One of my favorite players of MCC. And I think SB will be the one carrying this team. And 
I don't think this team will win the event. I think... I mean, I think there is a chance this team falls in the top half of the elite standings, but I wouldn't see them winning. And I think SB's definitely... Like, I, I, he's very good. He was really good in the Shady Oaks competitions and uh, when, they, when those were happening, like, last year. Kara is on and off. She won the very first MCC. So, uh, and she... Like every now and again, she she's okay. Every now and again, she does very terribly. Captain Sparkles coming back, coming back from his win in MCC twenty two. I wouldn't be surprised if he's like the second in command to SB here, or and Sneeg I would be the third in command, and then Car the fourth, or or Car is probably going to be carried here. But I like Sneeg does okay on occasion too. He has also won an event. So, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this team makes it to Dodge Bolts. Well, but I don't think... Well, actually, never mind. Don't, don't listen to me on that one. And I don't I don't think this team will make it to Dodge Bolt. But, well, I wouldn't be surprised if this team lands in the top half of the standings here. Next up, we have the Purple Pandas, where we have Pete, Phil, Joel, and G Nelly. Now, I think this team is in high winner contention for me. Pete and Phil are really good players. Joel does very well at some times. And G Nelly is... I, I, I don't really know how well she does. I, I, I She has won an event before. Uh, everyone on this team has won before. So I think there is definitely a very, very big shot here. Uh, Pete and Phil, two, uh, two MCC legends... And especially Pete. Joel does very well. It would do really well at Bill Mart, and I would believe. And I wouldn't be surprised if he does seriously well, or somewhat well in PvP events here. Now I think Jean Nelly will be the one being carried, but I wouldn't like she does. A, she's done fine, <laughs> but like, I, I think this team is very high in winner contention for me, and I wouldn't be surprised if this team wins. And the last team we have up here, we have we have the pink pairs. We have Wilbur, Rambu, Amzy, and Blushy. Amzy coming in is a, kind of a newcomer. She was in MCC Pride 2022, and, and I can't really remember the standings from MCC Pride 2022, as I wasn't I was away for the weekend that it, it was a thing. And I really didn't. I really didn't watch it afterwards because I, because I kind of just knew the, the winners in it. Once I was like, well, screw it. I'm just, I don't know if I really want to watch it. But I don't think this team will win. I really don't think so. I think like Blushy and Rambu will probably be the better players at lunch than Wilbur, than maybe Amesy. I don't really know though. Like at best, this team gets like maybe a fifth or a sixth. At worst, I could see this team getting 10th place. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if this team lands in the bottom, at the very bottom of the team standings. So, yeah. And now for the winners. Now, my winner pick for this MCC is the Purple Pandas here. And I think... Yeah, uh, this team is, has a lot of good people. <laughs> Like, three very good players. Joel, not the greatest, but, you know, like, he does, he is, he does very well on occasion. Gene Alley does fine on occasion, too. So, I think, like, there, there is a definitely good combination here. So, I, this is, this, that is why this team is my winner picks for this MCC. And we're going to go all the way back to the start here. And there we go. That is my my MCC cast assessment for MCC 23. Now, I had decided I will be doing a cast reactions to to Survivor 43 and Survivor 44. So stay tuned for those. Uh, those will... Uh, actually, I don't know. Well, like, I think... There is a possibility that the that uh, twenty one of these those ha both of those have came out before those this video even airs. Cause this video is going coming going to come out on Wednesday. Uh, 
is it like the, I think Wednesday the thirteenth or fourteenth? I can't really remember. Uh, then, uh, obviously the React stuff that's going to continue as well. And I th- I have decided I think I'm going to do recap shows on uh, uh, like a weekly recap on Amazing Race Canada season eight. So stay tuned for those videos. Splixio, those will probably be in the form of Splixio videos. This is where it's just that me playing Spilxio in the background while I talk about the latest episode of Amazing Race Canada. And I, for the challenge, uh, see, uh, challenge you to say, I think I'm going to um, do recap videos. I think I'm doing those as well. So, uh, recap videos. I'm, I'm recording this on Friday the 8th of July. So at this time, I really, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm in the process of making the slides, the uh, slide presentations for, um, for the uh, for for Survivor 43 and Survivor 44. So t- stay tuned for those videos. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so recently, the Survivor series is going to continue, and I've decided I think I might do, I might start doing those weekly events soon. Um, after once the Panama one comes out, I think I'll just do those weekly, or or something like that, or maybe like one, tw- once or twice a week. So just so I can, because I kind of want to get that series done with, and I don't know. We'll see where we end up with that. But there we go. That is going to be the, that is the video for today. A M- that is the MCC twenty three cast assessment. Now I'm okay, I, like this overall. This cast is quite fine. So yeah. But there we go. That is the video. Thank you for watching.